Hey, Ron, uh, to answer the question that you asked on email about what does it all mean with impressions and engagement and clicks and open rate, I thought I would answer that uh, inside your own Constant Contact account. So here we are. I'm inside it. And uh, what you see, when you see something that refers to impressions, uh, that is the number of times that an ad or a post showed up on somebody's screen and this in this case is on both Facebook and on Instagram. So this was on a post, you had 36 impressions, a 7% engagement rate. Engagement means that someone actually did some kind of an interaction with that post. It may have been a click, it may have been a forward, it may have been a like, something like that. Uh, it's a little bit higher as you see on an ad. Uh, with the ads, uh, you get more impressions. The reason for that, and by the way, typically more clicks too. The reason for that is that Facebook and Instagram prioritize paid events. So the uh, ads will always tend to get much higher uh, activity than just a post. Okay, so here's post, here's ad. Uh, you can see here that uh, the 4th of July post on Facebook and Instagram got 54 impressions and a 21% engagement rate. That's really good. A high engagement rate is terrific. Um, they typically tend to be in the single-digit category. This 4th of July one, which we did on July 2nd, had 21%. Okay, moving on. Uh, this was the email campaign. Uh, we did a send and a resend, and uh, we had a total uh, open rate of 22%. That's the, the percentage of people who received the email and then clicked to open up that email, rather than it just show up in the inbox and not do anything. A 19% click rate, that's awesome. Typically, a click rate on an email campaign is about 5%. So uh, I hope that answers the question for you. I'll wrap this up and send it off to you.